Hey there, rioters. Now, to celebrate the soon-to-be-released Resident Evil 3 Remake, we went back and played Resident Evil 1 Remake, and now we're playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. Alrighty, what's all this then? This game has autosave, fan, fantastic. Uh, the settings here are all fine, subtitles are on, that's good. Uh, except for this, headphones. Why is that on headphones? We want that on TV. And real-time binaural, I don't even know what the hell that is. Uh, max brightness, default's fine. Minimum brightness, default's fine. Brightness, default's fine. Connect to RE net. Yeah, I really couldn't be bothered, so I'm just going to say no. Okay, so I do have all the DLC for this downloaded as well, which includes these special costumes, the noir costume for Leon, and also for Claire, as well as the deluxe weapons. I think it's like uh, Wesker's gun or something, and the ability to change the music back to the original PS1 game, and also an extra mode. And just like the original, you can play as Leon or Claire. We will be playing as Claire. A different nightmare awaits Claire Redfield, who is unaware of just how drastically her very ordinary life is about to change. We have the three difficulties here, Assisted, Standard, and Hardcore, which plays more like the original. We're just going with Standard. And for this first run through with Claire, Claire Scenarios A, uh, the game's going to be pretty much just played in its default form, so no DLC or any changes to anything, no outfits or weapons or anything. Man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know? So I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in the middle. I should attack somebody. Oh, come on. Just getting good. Well, he's boned. Yeah, I'm almost there. If you know me, I'll be fine. Sounds good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? You're speeding down the road at night in the rain on a motorcycle carrying a handgun. That might have something to do with it, Claire. Hello? Okay, let's get to stepping. So I like this little intro that they've added to this remake, which was left out of the original, because you know you just started surrounded by zombies, but I'm glad they added this little opening to the game. Hello? Here? Has anyone ever responded to that question when somebody asks it? Especially in a dark room. No, don't think so. Hello? Okay, so I would like to point out quickly that this Let's Play is a 100% Let's Play. If you want to know what that includes, please check the description box below. Now let's go greet this poor sod. Are you okay? Oh, he's never felt better, Claire. Thanks for asking. 
Wait here. I'll check it out. Okay, so he points us in the right direction. We're helping. And look what the cheeky little sod does. He locks the door. Hey, what the hell? What the hell, all right? That's the last time I ever ask if he's okay. I'm taking him off the Christmas card list. That's it. Oh well, might as well go and see what this racket's all about. Okay, this is nice and simple. Just plug him in the head a few times. One more should do it. There we go. Now ask the police officer if he's okay, Claire. No? Okay then. So all we want to do is just grab this key. Nice posters on the wall, by the way. I like those. Key! Very nice. Okay, let's go back and Mr. Zombie will start to rise. And I think it's a good time to start running. Let's run over to this door. Uh, using key items. When you need to use an item to unlock a door, solve a puzzle, select the item, and then the use command. Okay. Use the key as such. And as we were, that guy's turning into a zombie. We'll avoid him. We'll run down the middle. And Mr. Zombie's going to be clumsy. He's such a klutz. And now we meet Leon. Whoa, don't shoot. Get down. We gotta get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. And so begins our wonderful and magical journey of Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 has always um, ha had a special place in my heart. Like, it's always meant a lot to me. I first played Resident Evil 2, the original, back when it first came out in, what was it, 1998? I think? So I was eight years old when I first played this. I kid you not. It's because my mother's husband at the time he went to the video store. I wasn't with him. And he was just going to pick something out because I wanted to rent a game for the night. And he chose Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 1. Bought it home. I played it. It scared the crap out of me. But I was also intrigued and fascinated by it. And then when, like, the following year, I started uh, year grade 3 at school. And I had this friend. Yes, I had friends back then. And he owned, like, the demo disc of it. And we just loved it, and we were fascinated by it, and we played it, like, all the time when I went over to his place. So, this game means a lot to me, especially the original. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Pfft. Claire thinking she's like the only survivor. What a narcissist. No, I'm kidding. I actually love Claire. She's my favorite Resident Evil character. 
Um, along with Leon, actually. I think Claire and Leon are like my, my favorite male and female characters. Looks like we're walking from here. Girl's a maniac! Why did she bite me? Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! Claire! Leon! Claire! Claire, are you okay? Yeah! I'm alright! How about you? I can't stay here! It's not safe! Oh shit! Go on ahead! I'll meet you at the station! When it comes to this game, I love it, okay? But there's one major gripe I have with it. Only one, really. And. And it's the fact that you get to the police station far too quickly. Remember in the original how you had to walk to the streets first? It's like the end of the world. Well, that doesn't happen in this. You don't have to go up staircases. TF the f off. And you don't have to go to the streets avoiding zombies. Look. Police station. Almost We're already there. Like, that's crap. So, I'm not happy about that. But, oh well. Deal with it, I guess. There are some questionable changes, but for the most part, this game is really, really good. Alright, just avoid these zombies. Through the gate! Now look, too bad if Leon was going to enter through this way. We just locked him out! I actually didn't know that he can't make it through the front gate. It's funny, just imagine Leon coming up, like following Claire and getting locked out. Surrounded by zombies. Oh well, we want to grab the first aid spray. And there's going to be ammo. We'll grab that. Ammo is always welcome in my inventory. And I'm going to do a quick save. So I'll see you guys in a jiffy. After that, we just need to check this monitor. Come on, Chris. Where are you? They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Another idiot who shoots a zombie once and then just stands there and lets it approach him. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I should help this guy. Well, we are going to try and help him, but one thing we want to do first, and that's, I guess, view the map. Making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. Okay, and before we do go to this cop, uh, we're going to go up the stairs. There's the puzzle we need to do soon. And uh, there's going to be ammo on the left here. And it's helpful to just have as much ammo as we can, whenever we can, especially in this area with all the zombies in the corridor. So, I like to make sure we pick that up. And I do apologize if my uploads of Resident Evil 2 are a little bit slower than they were with Resident Evil 1. 
Uh, the thing is, I'm currently applying for a second job here in Thailand, so I'm a little bit busy preparing for the interview and demo lessons and all that, because it's another teaching job, so... I apologize if I'm a bit slower with this, but we will get through it. Okay, just pull this little switch down. Keep out. Pfft. As if a sign's gonna keep Claire out. Oh, great. I love the fact that during a zombie-infested police station, and city in general, she just sticks her head straight under the door without knowing what's there. <laughs> But once I finish this Claire A scenario, I will be doing the Leon B scenario, but I might play it a little bit differently. Um, maybe with the infinite machine gun or something. So that door's locked. We know that there's a chair against it. Focus, Claire. Focus. Ah, spooky noises. Uh, we definitely want to go in here. There is a secret in here that we will get later, but that's much, much later. Turn the light on. We'll grab the handgun ammo, which is always good. And now we need Claire to demonstrate her strength as we push this locker out of the way. Heave ho! Come on, Claire, use your muscles. There we go. And after doing that, we need to take a bathroom break. The men's bathroom is blocked off, so we go in the female one. Up! Oh, someone clogged the toilet. In here we have another first aid spray. And nothing in there. Absolutely nothing. So we may leave. And now we're about to witness possibly the most gruesome cutscene in the game. Oh, oh my god. I know, I'd hate to be cleaning this mess up. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'm here! Patience, door. patience. Claire, what part of this scenario looks okay? How does he look okay? So we've got ourselves a little notebook which just explains that there's a puzzle that leads to a way out and that's the solution. Okay, and now Mr. Zombie is going to try breaking the door in. The best thing to do is to not even bother shooting him. Just stand here. This is the safest way to run around him. Just stand here and lure him over the table and then run. I like that method. But now things are going to be a little bit more tricky uh, as I'm going to try and collect everything there is down here with the zombies around. So, two shots put these guys down. One, two. One, two. Oh, crap, I missed. Oh, is he going down? Good. Think Jeebus. And there's one more zombie here. We'll just shoot him in the leg. Yay! And now we just quickly grab these as quick as possible. So we take the board. We take the ammo. Run. Get the hell out of here. Yay, we did it! No problems. Nothing bad happened. I didn't get damaged at all. That went very well. That went perfect. The zombie designs and everything in this are really good. Zombie sandwich. You all right? Yeah. You're safe. Now, <clears throat> Marvin Brown. Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Come on. Don't go offering your blood soaked hand to us. <clears throat> God damn. After this cutscene, I'm going to save and take a break. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, it's on me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. 
Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? Yeah, Chris is chilling. That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna... Shh. And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. A little bit of a foreshadowing there because, you know, what happens to Marvin and all. Poor fellow. Unfortunately, all we can do is watch. But, hey, we got the knife. Combat knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. L1 ready R2 slash can be used to counter attack with L1 when you are caught by an enemy and can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Okay, cool. Okay, and with all that said, we're going to leave Marvin there to take a rest and I'm going to save it now and call it a day. Maybe go have a couple of beers. <laughs> so thanks for watching and as always, keep riding.